from November 27th to December 4th. The most important current affairs, very, very important. Number one, what is blue bugging? Science and technology current affairs. See, any questions from science and technology means those are related to current affairs only they will ask. 98% of the questions will be related to current affairs. So, there is a concept called as blue bugging. What is blue bugging? How is it used to hack Bluetooth enabled devices? Nowadays, every device is Bluetooth enabled. Every smartphone is a Bluetooth enabled. It means wherever there is a Bluetooth enability is there, that phone can be hacked by this particular method called as blue bugging. So, what is blue bugging? In a simple way, with me, I am a hacker. So, what I will do? I will on my discoverability. Discovery will be there in our mobile phone. So, whoever Bluetooth is, Bluetooth is on, that device will be visible here. If I on Bluetooth, so I will click share or pair. So, if that person also click pair, then both devices will be paired. That is the reason that in that way, no Bluetooth functions. How Bluetooth will function? I will go for discoverable. I will click discoverable. So, what are all the Bluetooth devices which are near my device? Those will be shown on my screen. So, I want to pair with your device. Then what? I will click on your device, pair, then I will click on pair. The notification will go to your mobile phone. So, there you can see my request to get paired. So, if you also accept it, then your mobile phone and my mobile phone will be paired. So, what are all the information which is present in my Bluetooth, my device will be pumped into your device or whatever you are sending me will be pumped into me that is how the Bluetooth functions. So, here what happened, sometimes what happened, people will open the discoverable, they will click yes, but they will not close, they will not close. So, what will happen, wherever the device is there, your device will come into contact, if I am also keeping my discoverability on. So, if I am a hacker, so if your mobile phone device is under discoverable, so yours is on, so I will do for pairing. So, here in this particular bugging, what will happen? There is no necessity to pair. You no need to accept the re request. If your mobile phone is in discoverable mode and if I on the discoverable mode and if I pair, your complete device will be under my control then complete your device will be in my control that is why see i you kept discoverable you didn't closed it so every time it is open i am a hacker i opened my discoverable so you came under my mobile phone yes you came under my mobile phone your name i can see yours is discoverable so what the hacker will do generally what will happen if you accept the pairing, then only the pairing will happen generally. But here the program is in such a way, if your discoverable is on, it is sufficient to take the data from you if I open my discoverable and if I pair with your device. That particular process of hacking your mobile phone. Through Bluetooth, I will be hacking your mobile phone. Through, do, through Bluetooth, I will be taking your complete data is blue bugging called as blue bugging. So, there is here, what is different sir? What is different means generally you have to accept the pairing. But without accepting the pairing also, my device can enter into your device if your discoverable is on. So, means you became vulnerable. You did not accept it, but still you became vulnerable. Why? Because your discoverability is on. But generally discoverability, after discoverability, the pairing is accepted, then only your information, my information can be shared. But here the importance of the bug is without your acceptance of the pairing, but your discoverability is on and if I come under your discoverability, I will share your complete information. This can happen by when your discoverability is on you in your mobile device or when you come under public Wi-Fi, when you come under public Wi-Fi. These two things will happen. Several smartphones have their Bluetooth devices, settings on discovery mode, discovery mode. As it is a default setting, make it easy for hackers to access the phones when they are within 10 meters from the range. Sometimes what they will do, hackers 
they will connect the antenna to the Bluetooth. So it goes up to 100 meters. If 100 meters also any discoverable is, is under discovery mode, I will get the information. So when I am getting information, I will know your phone number, I will know your name, I will enter you into your phones, your photos, your videos, as well as Bluetooth phones, what you are talking with your friend, what you are listening with your friend, what else is happening, everything will be recorded. So nothing is private, everything is public through blue bugging. So generally by mobile phone, it is only up to 10 meters, but if antenna is connected, it can go up to 100 meters. Hackers can also use booster antennas to widen the attack range. Blue bugging is a form of hacking that lets attackers access a device through its discoverable Bluetooth connectivity. Discoverable Bluetooth connectivity. But one thing is compulsory. Compulsory, the other person should keep the settings in discovery mode. Without keeping in discovery mode, hacker cannot enter. That is the reason. See, cyber crimes cannot happen without without our notice, it will happen with our notice only. If we do some mistake, then only we can, we will come under the cyber attack. I kept in discovery mode, but I did not kept it off. So, I became vulnerable. You opened your WhatsApp in the desktop and you forgotten to log out, you are vulnerable. In Telegram, we can have three more, three, four, three to four devices, we can give connections. Three, four, four numbers, we can have connection, add account. So, you gave to your friend, but you did not ask him to log out after your work has been completed. Now, he can use your telegram or she can use your telegram means what? The cyber crime happens with our notice only. Cyber crime will not happen without our absence. Cyber crime will happen with our notice only, with our presence only. Like blue bugging. Once a device or phone is blue bugged, a hacker can listen to the calls, read and send messages and steal and modify contacts, works by exploiting Bluetooth enabled devices. Once a connection is established, hacker can use all unauthorized things. This is what? This is called as blue bugging. The only precondition is the Bluetooth setting should be established. It should be in discovery mode. Number two. Government forms panel to investigate Narega efficacy and the committee is headed by Sina. His name is called as Amarjit Sina. Listen, Narega is a very, very great legislation. In 2006, Un United Progressive Alliance under Sonia Gandhi came up with a legislation called as Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. Under this particular act, it is a hack. This is the right. This is the right that right to work means 100 days of employment will be provided. 100 days of employment will be provided in rural households to the rural households in a village if he comes to the panchayat secretary and asks that I want any job. It is the responsibility of the panchayat secretary to give work within 15 days on demand. Hack on demand. If the panchayat secretary is unable to provide the job within 15 days, then he should pay unemployment allowance. Who? Panchayat secretary. So, a right based approach is Narega. The right based approach is Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. So, this, this Narega scheme got lot of funds from 2006 to 2009, 2009 to 2014 till the UPA government is in power. But what the Narendra Modi government or BJP government is doing, slowly, slowly the funds for Narega is reducing. The budget allocation for Narega is reducing. The government is thinking that the Narega funds is getting misused. No work is happening, but the salaries are paid to the daily wages. The no work is happening, but the amount is siphoned by the panchayat office. So what the government stopped, the reduced the number of budget allocation to Narega. So now, on this notion only, the government of India had constituted one expert committee body which is called as Amarjit Singh Committee. This Amarjit Singh Committee is studying about how to improve Narega. How to improve Narega. How better we can use Narega. For example, I will tell you, see. One, generally, they will pay 100 days of employment will be created in one year and 200 rupees plus inflation driven amount will be paid to the daily wager. 
so somewhere around they will get 250 260 rupees they will get as a daily wage in reality what will happen they will not work means no productive work will happen if road are laying down see road work will not be daily or drainage pipes drainage pipes will not be daily or construction of a school construction of school will not be on daily basis so it's an asset once it is created done completed the work has been completed again we will not go to it but the government had found that the funds for narega is been misused saying that we are using for this asset creation we are using for this asset creation but in reality there is no assets so the so the narendra modi government started reducing the funds but however in covid times which helped the migrant laborers which helped the rural laborers all works are been closed all shops are been closed narega was helped them narega helped them narega gave them employment so narega narega is having a good side narega is also having a negative side so to study how to make the negative side as a positive side how to make the negative side of narega to a better side a committee is been constituted that committee name is called as Amarjeet Singh committee. So, here I will give you, here I point out two, two things. It is a very good article came from that article I took this point, this particular topic. In that article what they did, compared with Bihar and Kerala. In Bihar what happened? You know poverty ridden state. In spite of poverty ridden state, no net assets are created in Bihar. But money is going down, money is going down, money is going down, but reality no assets are created. Kerala compared with Kerala, Kerala is well off. There the assets are getting created. So what we are understanding, so which are well off, they are using the Narega, who are downtrodden, they are not using the Narega. So which are well off, again they are using more assets they are creating, what is the use? So it should mainly use where, where there is a necessity, where the necessity is more poverty ridden states like Odisha, like Jharkhand, like Chhattisgarh, like Bihar. But here the, there is underperformance of Narega. So on this context only the government of India came up with a committee called as Smaranjit Singh Committee, prelims point of view, which expert committee was being constituted by the government of India to improve the efficacy of Narega. At least one by third of the beneficiaries must be women. 100 days of working amount should be there. 15.4 crore active workers are there under Narega. Wages must be paid according to the statutory minimum wages specified for agriculture laborers. So, now this Maranjit Singh committee is studying that how efficiently we have to do Narega functions. They didn't submit the report. Only committee was been constituted. So, within one or two months, the committee will come up with a report. That report is very important. Any question on Narega compulsory you have to quote the recommendations of this Smaranjit Singh committee recommendation. Third, Agnikul, Cosmos setups India's first private space vehicle. First private space vehicle. Agnikul, a startup, a private company in space sector. Nowadays, private companies are coming up in space sector also. Last week we discussed about first satellite launched by one startup. Can you name it? Sky? 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 Skyroot. It is the first startup company which launched the satellite. This is the first launching pad, launching pad by a startup called as Agni Kul. Agni Kul. First ever launch pad operated by a private player at Sriharikota. It was facilitated with the help of ISRO and Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization, Ion Space. The new facility consists of two sections, namely the Agnikul Launch Pad and the Agnikul Mission Control Center. Agnikul Launch Pad and Agnikul Mission Control Command Center. So, nothing. So, nowadays, the space into the space sector, the corporates are entering into the space sector. The startups are coming. For example, Skyroot, which launched the first satellite. Next is Agnikul, which came up with a new launch pad. Why? Because earlier the space sector was directly under the control of government. But now the startups are coming up, the corporates are coming up. Tesla, Elon Musk, what he is planning? He is planning to send the people into the cosmos. Next, Yuddhabhyas. 
current affair. It's a military exercise between India and US. Remember that. Yudh Abhyas. A military exercise between India and US. 18th edition. Bilateral joint military exercise. India and USA conducted in Uttarakhand about 100 kilometers from line of actual control. Line of actual control is a border between India and China. So, it's a threat. Indirectly, we are giving threat to China. Why? Because USA also hate China. India also hate China. And we conducted a joint military exercise just 100 kilometers away from line of actual control. That is called as Yuddhabhyas. Military exercise. You have to remember military exercises, naval exercises, air force exercises, compulsory for your prelims point of view. They are asking. The last two years they didn't ask, but they might ask. Aiming to enhance interoperability and share expertise between both the armies in peacekeeping and disaster relief operations. Mainly in peacekeeping and disaster relief operations, how the military should act upon. See, very important. It is not for defense. It is for peace operations and disaster relief only. Peace operations and disaster relief. Yudh Abhyas. Sarastri telescope. Next is Sarastri telescope. It's a radio. It's a radio telescope. It's a radio telescope indigenously developed by Raman Research Institute. It's a radio telescope. It is indigenously developed by Raman Research Institute. Saras, Autonomous Research Institute for Scientific Research, located in Bengaluru. He got Nobel Prize. Saras three radio telescope was deployed in lakes of Karnataka, namely Dandigal Hill Lake and Sharvati backwaters. Our astronomical instruments consisting of radio receivers and antenna systems help the detect radio frequency radiation emitted by extraterrestrial sources. Simple. One word you remember. See, science and technology, much information will not be there. One word. Yuddha Bias, military exercise between India and USA. Varuna, a military exercise between India and France. Like that one sentence you have to remember. Sarastri, what it will do? It will notice the radio frequency signals coming from extraterrestrial regions, like coming from outer space, outer space, coming from cosmos, coming from universe, are used to study naturally occurring radio light from stars, galaxies, black holes, and other astronomical objects. Sarastri. So, what is the function of Sarastri telescope, which is designed by Raman Research Institute? Is the space from space. The rays which are coming from the space, the radio frequencies which are coming up, that will be captured by this Sarastri telescope. So, when I capture these radio frequency signals, I will understand what type of signals are those. So, I can understand how the space is there, I can understand how the cosmos is there. So, prelims point of view, Sarastri telescope which is designed by Raman Research Institute is helping in studying the radio frequencies which is coming out from extraterrestrial sources. Researchers have been able to determine the properties of radio luminous. So, we are, we, we are able to understand. We are able to understand how the extraterrestrial are their radio frequency. You know? With that frequency, we can study what type of objects are present, how the whether a, any, any, any living is possibility, possibility is there or not. We can study more by studying the radio frequency. Freshwater turtles. So, two types will be there. There will be two types of species will be there. Two types of species. One is called as turtle, other is called as tortoise. This behind is called as calipi. The behind is called as calipi. Calipi, this one. Turtles are those who live only in water. Remember this, the difference. The turtles are those who live only in water. Tortoise are those who live in both water and land. That is the main difference between the tortoise and turtles. If not, both are same. Means periodically they will come on the land, but again they will go back. They cannot stay more than one hour. But tortoise can live on land, can live on water also, both. But turtle, they come on to the land, they can stay mostly up to one hour. That is the major difference between the turtle and tortoise. This is freshwater turtle. Recently, the West Bengal's police seized 
270 kg turtle kalipi, a gelatinous layer found in the lower shells of turtles, believed to be used in traditional Chinese medicine in Malda district. This kalipi, this kalipi, back kalipi will be there, no? That will be used in traditional medical systems of China. So, they, how much they made? 270 means how many tortoise they might killed? How many tortoises they might killed to get 270 cages? So, this 270 cages they will carry to smuggling, Wildlife Protection Act, killing the animals and using their species, killing their animals or using their birds, like tuskers for of tuskers of elephant. Elephant, how the tuskers know they are near one one tusker will costly 40 lakhs rupees in the international market. Animal tusker will cost that is the reason they go for killing of the animals. The, why they will go for wildlife killing? They go for tusks, they go for headgear, for some deer's headgear. If they will keep in the homes also, like decoratory thing. The headgear they cost nearly. 6 lakhs rupees today in the international market. Tusk today in the international market, 40 lakhs rupees. Turtle, back kalipi. So, because of which they go for smuggling. So, it is our responsibility to protect this fresh water turtle. Because of this, it is in the news. India is home to 29 species of freshwater turtles, tortoise 5 and turtles only more. So, overall we have 29 species of freshwater, turtles are 24 and tortoise are 5. The key difference is turtles and tortoise, turtles are mainly aquatic, whereas tortoise are terrestrial and aquatic. Out of this, over 50 percent turtle species are threatened and 11 are protected under schedule 1. These animals are smuggled mainly for three reasons. Remember this, mainly for three reasons. Number one, for meat. Number two, to keep it as a pet. Number three, for calipi. For meat, to keep it as a pet or to keep it as a calipi, to use calipi. Kalanga festival, Kalanga festival of Gorka, Kalanga festival of Gorka, Gorka not Gond, Gorka tribal population, Gorkas. Once what happened, there is a war happened between Gorkas and British. The fair is or every remembrance of the Gorkha warriors who fought bravely against the British in the battle of Nalapani on the outskirts in the year 1814. Against the British, against the British, but British noticed their warriorship. And the Gorkhas was the successor of the war between the Gorkhas and Britishers. From that day onwards, they are celebrating this festival called as Kalanga festival, which is a symbol of warriorship. They win the war against British that recently concluded four days back, Kalanga festival. In this battle, the British 3rd Infantry Division comprising 3500 soldiers with heavy artillery under the command of Robert Gillespie faced stiff re resistance from Gorkha. Gorkha General Balbadra Singh Tappa and his band of only 600 soldiers, they are 3500 soldiers who defended the Kalanga fort for over six weeks without food or water. We can make a movie on this. Kalanga festival. To protect which fort? Kalanga fort. Where it is located? West Bengal. So much. So, these people recruited the British forces and a separate Gorkha regiment is there. No, The Gorkha regiment came into existence after this war called as Kalanga war. Flu gas desulfurization is the last topic which is in the news. Flu gas. Flu gas means the gas which are coming out in the form of emissions, vehicular emissions, thermal power station emissions. These are flu gases. In these flu gases, you know, sulfur dioxide is very high in content. The sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxide and carbon dioxide are responsible for what? Acid rains. So, there is a new technology evolved which is called as flu gas desulfurization. It will filter the sulfur dioxide. For example, from the nozzle of the vehicle, when the vehicle is rele releasing the smoke, if we put this particular technology, it will filter the sulphur dioxide and the sulphur dioxide will not come out. So, that particular technology is called as flue gas desulphurization. To eliminate sulphur compounds from, to eliminate sulphur compounds from emissions. 
द फ्लू गैस डिसल्फ्यूराइजेशन प्लान रिमूव सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड फ्रॉम द एग्जॉस्ट फ्लू गैस विच इज प्रोड्यूस बाय बॉयलर्स फर्नेस एंड अदर सोर्स वेर एवर द गैसेस आर रिलीजिंग देर वी गो विद फ्लू गैस ड्यू सल्फ्यूराइजेशन सो द सल्फर the sulfur will be filtered and the sulfur oxides will not come out if sulfur oxides are coming out it is resulting in in india continues to occupy the top spot among the sulfur dioxide emitters second rank first rank is russia in 2019 india emitted 21% of global anthropogenic a home human made sulfur dioxide emissions nearly double that of the second rank global emitter russia so sulfur dioxide can be removed sulfur dioxide can be filtered by this particular flue gas desulfurization so today what all we discussed today we discussed mainly blue bugging then investigate narega's efficacy by amarjeet singh committee then we had agnikul cosmos set up india's first private space vehicle agnikul yuddha bias with united states of america 100 kilometers from line of actual control sarastri telescope mainly to study radio frequency freshwater turtles 270 kg of calipe has been found which was been trying to smuggle to china So, 24 varieties are present of turtles. Five varieties of tortoise. Overall, we have 29 species in India, which is threatened because of meat, because of making it as a pet, and because of. And finally, we discussed about Kalanga Festival in West Bengal, as well as flue gas due sulfurization. In order to stop the sulfur oxide emissions, in order to stop the sulfur dioxide emissions, which is coming out from the furnaces, broilers, and vehicular emissions, this particular technology will filter the sulfur and send other emissions into the atmosphere. These are the most, most, most important current affairs of this week. Okay, to the point.